What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video talking to you guys today about SECU or State Employees Credit Union for short. Now, the one we're talking about today specifically is out of Maryland. This is the one that gets all kinds of love, uh, and you're going to see for good reason here in just a moment because there are other um, SECU locations in other states. If you just type in SECU on Google, you're probably going to get North Carolina. That comes up a lot. So they are in other states. So when you Google search this, be sure to type in SECU Maryland. So guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be talking about one of their seven credit cards they have to offer here, the SECU. We're going to go over um, actually how to join SECU because you can join even if you're not in Maryland, okay? You don't have to be in Maryland. You can be out in, you know, I don't know, freaking Colorado or something like that. You can be in Colorado, you can be in New Hampshire or wherever, Vermont, all right? And join SECU out of Maryland here and take advantage of some of the really good um, credit cards that they do have to offer and other things they have to offer as well at their credit union. So I'm gonna show you guys how to join real quick. And then we're also going to go ahead and talk about one of their credit cards that they have to offer. They have seven here. So we're looking at, right, this is the Visa Signature card they have. This is like their top dog. The Cashback Visa card, we're going to be talking today about the rewards visa card, but they also have a first rate card. So they have like a low interest rate one, a starter visa card. Um, it's unsecured to build your, to help build your credit. A secured visa card, which is obviously secured. And then they have a student visa card. So they have seven credit cards, which is pretty damn good uh, for a credit union. You don't see that very often. So we'll come up here and we're going to be looking at some of the different cards they have today, right? So. We're going to come down here and we're going to be looking at the rewards visa card. Now, in order to join and become a member of SECU from Maryland, you're going to go to the eligibility page. So you just Google search SECU MD eligibility. You'll find it. Okay. SECU MD, how to become a member. You'll find this eligibility page. All right. And you come to this page and everything it shows here at first might make you think you can't join. Um, I don't know why they show just these four options because you're going to see five options in just a moment. But these all basically show you have to have some kind of connection to Maryland, whether it's an employer, whether you went to school there, um, you know, you work for a state agency or a family member who's already a member. It basically leads you to think you have to have some sort of connection um, to Maryland. And even right here, it says it's for all sorts of Marylanders. Why does that sound funny? Marylanders, Marylanders, whatever. Any, so basically it focuses on Maryland, okay? But when you come down here and you choose a deposit account, so you're gonna choose this deposit, choose a deposit account. It comes, takes you this page to open an account, right? So where would you like to start? Just come down here, just scroll down here to these savings accounts and you click on share savings, okay? You say, no, I'm not a member. It's gonna take you to this portal. You click on get started. And I did a whole video on how to go through this, so I'm not going to go through the entire thing. Um, this does take about five minutes, though, so I did the whole video on it before. It's here on the channel, and you click Get Started, and when you get click Get Started, it shows those same four options we talked about just a moment ago, but here it shows a fifth one, and this is how you get in, like I did, if you do not live in Maryland. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm a hell of a long way from Maryland, okay? So... You donate to the SECUMD Foundation. It's just 10 bucks. That's all you got to do. So you choose this. You go through the process. You have to give your info, right, and stuff like that so that you can join. But you do a $10 donation, and you are good to go uh, as far as joining um, SECU out of Maryland. And then you can become a member. You can get credit cards. You can get – they have um, personal loans you can do, car loans, all that kind of stuff. I believe they even have – we're going to close out of that and go back to here. Here we go. So you can join, right? So then you go through that process, you join. And if you're going to want the rewards visa card, um, this is really their points cards. This is just a straight up rewards card. I would say it's probably similar to something like a uh, Go Rewards card with Navy Federal. If a lot of you are familiar with Navy Federal, and I've talked about them a lot on this channel, probably similar like a Go Rewards card. Uh, Navy Federal does have a couple different rewards cards that get points, and they have like some that are better than others. But this one, I think really is like their only one that does uh, points like this other than their, because this is a cash back card, other than the Visa signature card they have, which is like their best one for points and that kind of thing. But if you don't think you're going to be able to get this card, the Visa signature card with them, maybe your credit score you don't think is good enough yet, then if you want to start off with being able to get in, get a decent card and be able to get points, then go with the rewards Visa card. You can definitely do that. So if you look at the details uh, of the card here, 
You get one reward point per purchase dollar, redeemable on more than 1,600 reward items. You have no limit to points, they never expire. This is the same with all seven of their cards. You have no annual fee, balance transfer fee, cash advance fee, or foreign transaction fee, okay? Basically, highlights the same kind of things right here. Um, you have EMV chip security and that kind of thing. It does show that um, when you do get your points, that you can reward yourself with the SEC Rewards Visa card and choose from items in such categories such as electronics, recreation, and fashion. They do mention some of the brands here, right? Bose, Fitbit, right? Ray-Ban, Marc Jacobs, all that kind of stuff. So they just want to highlight the fact that you can use your points to buy some, you know, quality and uh, quality products from companies that have a real strong name brand. Now, if we click on this, this is where you're going to find some of the finer details, right? The credit card agreement. All right. Now, other credit cards they do, whoops, other credit cards, if you look at them, they usually have another link that will show what their, um, that shows a promotional offer, but this has no promotional offer, by the way. So literally all you're, you're not going to see another link for a promotional offer. You're really just going to see this link for the credit card agreement. That's all they have for you. Now, as we look at the credit card agreement, uh, you see the annual purchase rate is 10.99 up to 18.99% which this is the only way when you're looking at it that you're going to find it if you go and find this fine print. Because when you look over here on the previous page, the rewards card, it just says from 10.99. That's all it says. It doesn't say the whole range. It just says from 10.99. So you know that's going to be the lowest available you can get. But when you go here into the actual agreement, you see 10.99 to 18.99 uh, when you open your account based on your credit worthiness. After that, your APR will vary with the market based on the prime rate. So this is pretty damn good though, okay? I mean, even, by com even when compared to other credit unions, this is pretty damn good. This is similar to Navy Federal. This is definitely better than lots of banks where it's like, you know, it'll go up to like 28.99% versus 18.99. So this is pretty good. This is one of the reasons why people love SCCU and credit unions in general. So that's your APR for cash, uh, for purchases and cash advances. Your APR for balance transfers is the same. Right here, 10.99 to 18.99. Minimum interest charge, none. Annual fee, zero. All these transaction fees like we talked about earlier, the balance transfer, cash advance, foreign transaction, none, zero. Part of the reason people love it, right? And then over the credit limits, none. Return payment, 15 bucks. And late payment, 25. So that's what you're looking at. And even then, this is better than a lot of banks that'll be like, you know, 35, 38, 40 bucks, okay? And this is actually... Um, I think maybe federal, these are 20 bucks a piece. So again, very comparable, very competitive and very similar, which is why people love love credit unions, particularly Navy Federal, particularly SECU, Andrews, things like that. So that's what you're looking at as far as the rewards visa card. This is what they have to offer. Again, it's not their greatest card. Um, you know, if you if you need to build credit, you, you need the secure card, cool, but this is something you could probably, you know, work your way up to as you work your way up the ladder here to stuff like their Visa Signature card. So again, not the best card they have, but it's definitely an option for you. And depending on where you are um, in your process of building credit, this could be an option for you with SECU. So if you guys have this card, if you're an SECU member, I'd like to hear about it down below in the comment section. For everyone else to share, please share your experience so everybody else can learn and you know help them with their own financial future. So other than that, I do appreciate you guys taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. I do like doing these videos and helping you out uh, with whatever I can. So guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for being so awesome. And until next time, keep growing your money.